Hello, I'm Atuba Judge. Now, yesterday I told you today we're going to be looking at things concerning the, 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 the rapture. Now, I've been receiving lots and lots of questions, you know, especially last week. And then I went before the Lord and I'm like, Lord, what do we do about it? I was actually tempted to do a live broadcast, you know, so that um, we can really address this thing. That's going to take a longer time. And we're just like, okay, let's, let's record these things and, and, and put it in segments. Praise God. So, Listen, don't miss any of it. Go to our YouTube page if you're not there. Get all the messages and begin to listen to them so that you won't miss or, or misunderstand what I'm saying. Now, what is it about the rapture? Is there going to be a rapture? Is there going to be a believers going to be taken away from the earth? You know, some people don't really believe that that's going to happen. You know, I hear people argue, but there's no word called rapture in, in, in the Bible. The Bible never said rapture. So why are we saying it's that's that's foolishness because you see <laughs> language evolves and then it's not just the word it's the meaning of the word you know I was talking to my wife some days ago and we we're talking about names you know and because the Bible says there is the book of life and, and there are names is there anyone whose name is not in the book of life you know so uh, we we're talking about along those lines and then my wife asked me a question like is it the what if what if someone's name physically you know is not exactly the name that is written in in the book of life what what's going to happen you know like look it's not the name like john john no you see you see when you understand god's word you will understand that your name can be john and in another language your name can be something else in several different languages, when they, when they call your name, it could be something else. But when they check the meaning, it's going to mean the same thing. You understand what I'm saying? Now, so it is the meaning of the name that matters. So God doesn't speak English. I hope you know that. He doesn't speak Hebrew. He doesn't speak Greek. He doesn't speak your local dialect. No, it is you that understand him in the language that you are used to. He speaks to your spirit. So when he speaks, you grab meaning. Praise God. Let's go back to talking about the rapture. So, because the word rapture is not mentioned in scriptures, doesn't mean you should discard it. You, you, now, amazingly, what a lot of people don't understand, including believers, you know, we say, oh, when the rapture happened, when the rapture, do you know the rapture has happened several in scriptures? Several people in scriptures have been raptured. You say, who? Oh, look at the Bible. Now, you, you, the first person... In scriptures that we, we was brought to our attention was Enoch. Enoch was raptured. See, what does it mean rapture? Taking away from the earth. Not dying, that's what I'm talking about. He didn't die. You can't find where he, his body was buried on this earth. Never. He, he was taken up to heaven. That's what the Bible says. Enoch walked with God and God took him. Praise God. That's Genesis chapter 5 and verse 24. Enoch walked with God and God took him. Now, Another person that was raptured in scripture after Enoch, I'll tell you this. You, you see, Moses. Now, lots of people don't understand that Moses was raptured. We, we think Moses died. No, Moses didn't die. The writer didn't understand what happened to Moses. Now, now that's the truth. The writer didn't understand what happened to Moses. Now, God told Moses where to go. So go to Mount Nebo. He went there and, and God led him and showed him all the city and that was the last they saw of Moses see now I'm sure they must have tried to search for Moses body and they couldn't find that's why in Deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 5 so Moses the servant of the Lord died there in the land of Moab according to the word of the Lord and he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab over against Bethpah but no man knoweth of his sepulchre until this day. See? Now, they, they felt God said, Moses, go there and go die there. And Moses went there and he must have died. And then God must have buried him. That's why I say God buried him. Now, let me ask you this question. Like you said, no man knows his sepulchre. No man knows his grave. Now, now, for them to say nobody knows, they must have searched for him. Don't think those guys were just clueless. Moses said, I'm going to die. It's okay, bye-bye, sir. They must have searched for him. Now, how do I know Moses was raptured? Very simple. In Luke chapter 17, Jesus went with his disciples to the mountain. And while they were there, 
what happened? They were caught up. Jesus was, before the eyes of the disciples, Jesus was transfigured. And then what happened? The Bible said two men appeared to Jesus. And who were they? Moses and Elijah. They appeared to Jesus. Now, this was not a vision. This was not um, a dream someone was dreaming. This was life physically. They appeared and they saw Jesus. They were talking with Jesus, Elijah and Moses. Now, we know from scriptures, Elijah was raptured. Now, he's the third person in scripture that was raptured. Elijah was raptured. Now, his own was so dramatic. I mean, the Bible gives us a clear explanation of how Elijah went. You can see this in 2 Kings chapter 2. Elijah, God told Elijah, now that's what I wanted to get. God told Elijah, hey, you are going to be taken today. Okay, thank you, sir. And everyone amongst the prophet knew that that day, Elijah was going to be taken to heaven. They knew. So, Elijah must have understood, uh, must have um, explained or must have announced what God had told him. I'm going to be taken away today. Now, Elisha followed him until they got to the very spot where he, he was supposed to be taken away. And what happened? The Bible says uh, a chariot and a chariot of fire appeared and parted the both of them. And Elijah was carried in a wild wind up to heaven. The Bible lets us know that a wild wind or actually a chariot carried Elijah up to heaven. Now, how do we know that? Because Elisha saw it. See, so he, he wrote about it, said, this is what I saw. Praise God. Every other person didn't see that chariot. But you know what? They saw that he was taken up. And that's why the sons of the prophet, when Elijah, Elisha came back, they said, you know what? You know, let, let's send men. You know, there are some strong men here. Let's send them to go search. Maybe they'll see you. Maybe the wind carried him and dropped him on a mountain. Eli Elisha said, don't bother. Why? Elisha saw that the man who went up by that wild wind was, was relaxed on the chariot. See? So it's not like a wind was just carrying him. The man was relaxed. That chariot must have come from somewhere. Now, I told you four people that have been raptured. The fourth person is Jesus himself. Praise God. <laughs> I'm going to continue from this very spot tomorrow. Now, don't miss this thing. Praise God. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.